Hello everyone. In this playlist we are continuing building uh, a tool that processes uh, your raw data reports, revenue reports, payroll reports, bank statement reports. Uh, so this Microsoft Excel tool first of all processes uh, all your raw data monthly or weekly. Then uh, this tool assigns uh, different tags and then all these uh, data transfers uh, to the Power BI environment where you're able to create penal statements by different categories, by different states, by different products, by different subcategories, you may use different filters. Uh, so uh, the legend of this playlist is very simple. So you are a small business owner you just have a basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel, uh, you are preparing pivot tables, PL statements, monthly, weekly, you waste a huge amount of time doing that. And in this playlist I'm showing you how you can just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste all the raw data to the tool and this tool will be processing the data to the Power BI. You will be uh, able to upload each, mo each month uh, in a very short period of time, just maybe uh, a half an hour or 20 minutes. So this will be a very sh short uh, term procedure. And you will be able to upload in your month data. You will be able to see the penal statement using different filters. Uh, you will be able to see the trends, for example. You will be able to see the structure of codes. For the selected period monthly this is the monthly PL statement you will be able to see the revenues cost profits per different categories states countries for, for example products customers uh, zip codes and so on so you will be able to do all that stuff in this place i'm showing you i'm showing you how you can do that step by step so we are using a very simple formulas uh, I hope you enjoy it, uh, like, share, subscribe this channel, uh, you can always order uh, such business models for your operating business, we can build it, dashboards, Power BI dashboards, Microsoft Excel tools uh, that um, um, increase automation of your business. So uh, today we will be focused on conditional formatting, so here in this PL statement, this is the template. Uh, that we are looking at So here we are building uh, this template from scratch So all the links you will be able to see in the description of this video by the way um, and here if we uh, Look at this penal statement uh, So what we can do uh, Let's for example select uh, deselect all the states So if we are able, to, if we select uh, one state by one, uh, we will be able to see that some states have losses. So these are greens, these are greens. Let's move forward. Here they are. And uh, in this playlist, we will be creating the conditional formatting for the opinion statements to make us be able to see all these uh, all these negative values uh, easily. So now let's go back to our penal statement. So here it is. And now here we have, uh, for example, direct cost profitability, payroll uh, profitability. So. Uh, and here profit and profitability we need to assign conditional formatting for that so let's uh, start doing that so first of all let's select this table uh, this matrix table and here we have the list of um, um, uh, the measures that appear in this matrix tables first of all let's um, uh, go to the first parameter direct cost profitability here this is direct cost profitability here now let's um, uh, uh, click right uh, button of the mouse and there is a conditional formatting uh, uh, field here. Let's select background color. Here in this area let's select rules like in Microsoft Excel. Uh, we will be assigning this rule not only values only but also to the uh, assigning to all uh, totals as well. So we will need that during our 
uh, next steps. Uh, so first of all, let's decide that if the value is less than, for example, 10 billion and less or equals zero, then we, the background color will be uh, red. So now let's go here, take this and press OK. And the next rule will be, so now by the way, uh, profitability, uh, conditional, background color, let's go back. Uh, and remember this color so, and this will be red now let's go back and here let's let's add a new rule and if this value is uh, more than zero and less or equals for example 10 billion the font the background will be green now let's remember this green this will be green Now let's press OK and now we can see the green color assigned to this, uh, assigned to this line. Now uh, let's for example uh, add conditional formatting to the font color. Uh, so this will be rule, values and totals. Uh, so if the value e will be negative And less or equals to zero so the font will be white so the background if the negative value will be red and the font will be white okay uh, so now let's go to the next let's select this table the next uh, direct cost profitability the next uh, percentage of revenue, payroll, totals, profitability, press uh, right uh, bottom of the mouse, conditional formatting, background color, uh, then rules, uh, values and totals, we are doing the same exercise, and less equals to zero, this will be red, I'm selecting this color this will be red now I'm adding a new rule if this is more than zero or less or equals 10 billion for example so this will be green values and totals, rules, then OK, then uh, direct cost or payroll, payroll totals, profitability, let's do the conditional formatting for the font color, so this will be rules, values and totals, if uh, minus 10 and less or equals less or equals zero the font will be white payroll totals values and totals rules okay so this is the second profitability the next profitability is payroll r d profitability payroll payroll r d profitability here it is um conditional formatting background color uh, rules, values and totals, the same exercise, less or equal zero, this will be red color, 
So we are uh, going step by step, article uh, by article, assigning the conditional formatting uh, for the PNL articles. Uh, more colors, then new rule. Uh, if this more than zero or less. This will be green. That will be green. Visual values and totals, rules, okay. That's fine. Now let's see the font color. Payroll, R&D, profitability. Uh, conditional formatting, font color. Uh, rules, values and totals. Less or equals to zero, the font will be white. Okay. Next profitability will be payroll R&D, payroll manufacturing profitability, payroll manufacturing, payroll manufacturing profitability. Right uh, click on the mouse, conditional formatting background color rules values and totals less or equals to zero that will be green oh that will be red more colors red uh, then new rule if this is more than zero or equal uh, less than uh, this this will be green okay here it is. Then uh, we're covering the font, payroll manufacturing, payroll manufacturing profitability, conditional formatting, font color, rules, values and totals. Less or equal zero, then the font will be white. Now we are moving to uh, next profitability, payroll executive profitability. So this will be payroll executive profitability, conditional formatting, uh, background color, uh, rules, values and totals. Less or equals to zero, then that will be red. then you rule uh, more than zero less equals to that will be green more colors green okay let's see what it gives us okay now let's add the font uh, payroll executive, payroll executive profitability, conditional formatting, font color. So this will be rules, values and totals. Less or equals to zero, the font will be white. Okay. The next profitability will be payroll front office profitability, payroll front office profitability the same exercise conditional formatting background color rules values and totals less or equal zero then it will be red it will be more colors red 
then euro it will be more than uh, zero or less or equals to that will be green that will be green okay let's see what it gives us okay payroll profitability let's add a font payroll front office profitability conditional formatting font color uh, rules values and totals mm, less or equals to zero the font will be white okay then advertising as profitability let's add profitability conditional formatting background color rules values and totals then less or equals to zero that will be red red then new rule this will be more than zero or less or equals to that will be green okay let's see yes uh, adds profitability adds profitability let's add conditional formatting for the font font color that will be your rules values and totals um, less or equals to zero the font will be white okay now logistics profitability logistics profitability conditional formatting background color that will be rules uh, values and totals less or equals to zero that will be green oh sorry red sorry guys so that will be more colors new rule if that will be more than zero or less or equals to that will be green okay now let's add the phone conditional formatting logistics profitability logistics profitability conditional formatting phone color uh, rules values and totals less or equals to zero the font will be white okay then uh, logistics then run profitability run profitability conditional formatting background color rules values and totals less or equals to zero then that will be red Oh, that will be red more colors new rule more than zero less or equals to that will be green okay then let's add uh, conditional formatting for the font and profitability uh, conditional formatting font color that will be rules values and totals uh, less or equals to zero font will be white and i'll have uh, two 
profitability, operating expenses, profitability, and final profitability. So operating expenses, profitability, conditional formatting, background color, rules, values, and totals. Oh, less or equals to zero, that will be red. New rule, more than zero, less or equals to. That will be green. That will be green. Okay, let's see. Yes. Operating expenses, profitability, no. Uh, sunny conditional formatting for the font color. More rules, values, and totals. Less or equals to zero. That the font will be white. And the final profitability. Uh, Conditional formatting, background color, rules, values, and totals, minus, then less or equals to zero, that will be red, red, <clears throat> that will be red, then new rule, that will be more than uh, zero, and less or equals to this that will be green okay and the last so profitability font color conditional formatting font it will be rules, values, and totals. Uh, less or equals to zero, the font will be white. So now let's uh, check what we did. So first of all, let's deselect all the states. And now let's go just state by state. So these are all the greens, greens, here they are. These are the reds, because they, these months are negative. Positive, 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 that's fine. So now this penal statement starts uh, being uh, more uh, informative for us. Here we can see how conditional formatting uh, highlights uh, negative uh, values inside our penal statement. So now we can see that conditional format format is working. Now we can uh, next video we will um, add some more colors to power uh, to the profit and loss statement to make it more readable. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I will give you all the links in the description of this video. So this whole playlist is about small business owner who has just basic knowledge of Excel. And we are transferring uh, the data from Microsoft Excel to Power BI, creating the different tools that uh, you make makes that, that makes your life easier. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, you can order uh, such dashboards for your unique business ideas for your operating businesses. Uh, see you next videos, guys. Thank you and bye.